What is going on everybody? My goodness, it has been a while. But you've been wondering where the hell I've been. I haven't just been chilling with my feet up, doing nothing. I've actually been working on something huge. It's finally here and I'm back just in time for the most important time of a footballer's year, the off season. Let's get into this video. I can honestly say I've never seen anything like this in my life. In the off season is where champions are made. The last time I saw you guys was Charlton away. Big man, watch yourself. Down the box, Jack. Jay, turn. Look out, Chris. This one now, Chris. Block, Chris. Swap, Chris. Because he's blocking. He's thinking I'm marking in it, so I've got me. Well done, Chris. Channel. And since then, it's been tricky. The end of the season was tough for us. After the last manager leaving, I think a lot of people's expectations were for us to make the playoffs. Two reasons: I've not been able to film as much. Firstly, our results weren't good enough. We lost a lot more games than we should have really. And I think people's expectations were that we should have made the playoffs. Considering the form we were in when the previous manager left with one previous five games. And you know what it's like in football, right? If you're not winning games, if you're not playing well, it makes it very difficult to do something like YouTube. And I heard uh, the likes of Ben Foster talking about this on a podcast the other day. I think it was a couple of games after the Charlton game, we played Ipswich away, got smoked 4-0. Then on a Monday, boys are down, morale's low, we're fighting for our lives to get into the playoffs. It's not, but it comes across very unprofessional of me to get the camera out on a Monday morning being, all right boys, welcome back to another vlog. Da, 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 da. People see it as a task not on it. And you guys know how I am. I don't think there's any footballer more dedicated to his craft than me, but it's still not a good look. So I didn't have that credit in the bank to be able to film for you guys and create match day vlogs. But in my spare time, I've not just been chilling, doing nothing. With my feet up, I've been grinding. 12 months ago, I teamed up with one of my ex-teammates, Kevin Stewart, who I played with at Hull City, and we've been building the program. It's finally here after a year's worth of work. Everything's ready and good to go. So what is the program? The program is a coaching platform run by myself and Kevin Stewart alongside our professional team of coaches such as SNCs, physios, nutritionists, psychologists, you name it, we've got a lot on board. Welcome to the program where we teach you how to go pro. The program is a coaching platform run by two professional footballers, myself, Ryan Tavazzoli. And Kevin Stewart. Stewart! Oh, he's done it! And our hand selected professional team of strength and conditioning coaches, nutritionists, and physios. We teach you how to train, what to train, how to eat, when to eat, what to eat, how to get stronger, faster, more agile, improve technically, tactically, and mentally to meet the demands of pro football. You have to understand that you're attempting to break through into a 1% industry. You share the same goal as tens of millions of aspiring footballers. A percentage already have a huge advantage over you. Some would have been picked up by academies when they were young. Some would have had parents who were footballers. You don't understand how much of an advantage that is. It's a fast track in many cases, but the program levels the playing field. We teach you and give you access to everything you need to know and do to go pro. With our guidance, the only things that you need is a positive attitude, a strong work ethic, and a hunger to go pro. The rest, we've got covered. Join the program today. Over a 14 year career, the amount of knowledge and experience myself and Kevin have gained is frightening. And now our mission is to help aspiring footballers improve at their games and ultimately, potentially become professionals. So what does the program do? We'll teach you how to train, what to eat, how to improve technically, mentally, how to get physically stronger. We'll design session plans for you, monthly schedules, you name it. The list goes on, the list is endless. And I'll get into what we actually offer a little bit later. So it's June the 5th now, we're getting into the crux of the off-season. I'm in Abu Dhabi, some warm weather training. I've been outside for about five minutes and I'm absolutely sweating. Look at my arm. It's so hot here and today especially, the humidity levels I think are like 70% or something crazy. Which is good, 
because it means that when I get back to England, after I do all these sessions out here, it's going to be that whole lot easier. And I'm so excited for this off season because it's been the first time in a long time that I've had a full off season. Last year, obviously, we got to the playoff final, lost in that. So we only had around 25 days or so before pre-season started. The year before that, the season was extended because of COVID. Same the year before that. So it's been a bit of a mess the last three years or so in terms of having a long off season to be able to train. This is a golden opportunity, right? For us footballers, we take it seriously to get the edge on our competition. We can go back flying here, set ourselves up nicely for the season and actually make sure we're in peak condition for that first game of the season. And that's why in the program, the first two months are off-season programs. So you can go back absolutely flying. The sessions in the off-season program, stamina based, obviously running is literally the backbone of athletic performance, isn't it? So we can't neglect running however much we all hate it. There's aerobic sessions in there, anaerobic sessions and fartlek based sessions, which are all designed by myself, Kevin and running coaches. So it's actually really tough. I've just started the program myself. Mixed in lower body hypertrophy, four different sessions on rotation which will really help build muscular capacity and also pitch based technical sessions open Finish. which is going to help improve things like your ball control passing first touch ball manipulation combined with agility work position specific drills so it's a really well crafted and intense off-season program but it's one that's going to put you in a great position come the start of the season this is a golden opportunity for you to gain the edge on your teammates your opponents because in the off-season is where champions are made the guys who work the hardest in the off-season always have the best season so let's get to work i'm about to jump into one of the running sessions i feel like i've already done a session eight i don't know if you can see the levels of sweat on my t-shirt and shorts that's what i need it's going to be tough it's going to be good let's get into this Absolutely disgusting. Whew. That session was outrageous. I still feel like I'm dusting off some of the cobwebs. Only my second run this off season, but my oh God. And also don't forget, when you do join the program, myself and Kevin will guide you through your monthly programs in our one-to-one -one or group calls. Do you pass it and just stand there? So then the, the space stays the same, or can you pass it and then move back another, another five yards? When I'm playing centre mid, bro, I get my centre back to go as far away from me as possible, so there's more space. I can't wait to turn some of you guys into pros. Absolutely cream crackered after that session. Shock, I'm still dripping with sweat. Out here is a mess. Do a session, get in the shower and you're still baking, dripping afterwards for hours. Just come for a little bit of lunch lets me touch on the nutrition side of things. In the off season, how you eat and when you eat is completely different to in the season. We're training in a different way now. How we fuel our bodies isn't the same as in season. We've actually got two unbelievable nutritionists on board in the program to help you with what you should eat, when you should eat it. It's tailor-made for you as well. So if you need to put on weight, you need to lose weight, you need to put on muscle, lose muscle, whether you're celiac, vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, whatever it might be, we've got you covered. Then plans will be sent out to you as well. So we're leaving no stones unturned. And for anyone who doesn't I think nutrition is critically important. I promise you, you cannot out train a bad diet. And even if you think you've got a good diet, you probably haven't, because you need to be getting in the right amount of macros every single day, the right amount of calories, to fuel your bodies correctly, and supplement your training appropriately. So if you like Lily, and every time you eat gluten, you end up on the toilet for hours, we've got wow. you covered. Did you say that? Woo! Me and Lily have come to the spa for a couple's massage. Lovely. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good to meet you. I'm good. Thank you so much. Well, isn't it nice out here? Do you like it, babe? Oh my god, she's telling me to shush. We are on a Spartan fan. That's a jacuzzi. My head's gone. Oh my god, it's hot as well. How can there be a jacuzzi in Abu Dhabi? So we're staying at the Rixos Premium in Abu Dhabi. Lily's doing like a little bit of promotional stuff for the hotel. So we need to find a nice backdrop for us to get a picture for Instagram. Just popped inside to get a drink of lemon infused water. One of the worst 
habits out here, honestly, because it's so hot. Just nailing fizzy drinks. Doesn't feel like water. It quenches you first out here. You just get sucked into Fantas and Sprites and whatnot. It's probably one of the worst things for you in the off season to just down fizzy drinks. So much sugar in them, it's not good for you. Especially when you're staying somewhere all inclusive, you can have as many Marindas as you want. Who knows about Marinda? Looking very disheveled, but that was probably the best massage I've ever had from a non-physio sports therapist. Really good, really. Nice. Out of 10? 10, get that camera off me. 10 out of 10. Yeah. And he was like, ooh, I don't like it hard at all. Don't touch my feet, don't touch my quads. Stay away from my hamstrings. <laughs> oh. She got a little tickle. My lady was climbing all over me, yanking me up and down, chucking me everywhere. Though, I feel relaxed, re-energised and ready to go for another session. We're going to head to the mosque this afternoon, check it out in Abu Dhabi and then we're going to go back to Jumeirah to see what this mosque is saying. What are your thoughts? I can honestly say I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's out of this world, genuinely. I don't know how to describe it. It reminds me of like, if I had to picture what heaven would be like, it would be something like this. Breath taken. Wow. I've probably said wow about 50 times in the last 20 minutes. I'll never look at this. Biggest carpet in the world. Made in Iran. What do you know about them Persian rugs? Right now. That patch of grass is where we are going to run. Right in front of the Burj. Sunset now. Beautiful. Before we get into this running session, I've not actually mentioned yet one of the best features of the program. This is something that's taken an incredible amount of work to build, to put out there and it's our showcase games. You don't have to take part in the showcase games if you're a part of the program, but it's there for you. They're obviously gonna be hugely in demand. What gave us the idea for these was that back when I left Southampton, I actually played in a showcase game myself and it was in front of like American University scouts and whatnot. Um, and I had the opportunity to go over to the US. We thought, why not do something like that in England for you guys? Because sometimes it isn't about what you know, it is about who you know. There'll be a lot of other players out there now who have dads in the game, who can unlock doors for them. They'll have brothers at professional clubs who can help them get their foot in the door. So we want to try and level that playing field. Well, it's not even leveling the playing field, it's actually tilting the balance into your favor. Because we've got all sorts of scouts from all over the country coming down to these games. My advice to you guys would be, don't just dive straight into the showcase game, right? Sign up to the program. Do six to nine months worth of coaching with us. Let us guide you, let us help you, let us improve you. And then when we think you're ready for the showcase game, we'll put you out there in front of the scouts, showcase your abilities, and hopefully get scouted. I'll leave a link down below now. And listen guys, we can't take on the whole world. So we're gonna limit the number of spaces for the first two weeks or so, see how we get on. We're gonna limit it to 250 people. So be quick because, you know, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity for you guys to turn into professional footballers or just genuinely improve at a game. Anyway, let's get down to the grass and get this session underway with Mr. OJP, Mr. Wrexham, Ryan Reynolds' his boy, got promoted this season <laughs> at Flying. We are on day six of the off-season program. Oh, how hard has it been? He's, been, he's like my guinea pig. I'm easy. putting him through the paces. Been easy. It's not been easy. Eat. I'll, I'll, I'll put up this footage now, you'll see. Nah, it's not been easy at It's all. been tough. It's been tough, but I'm glad we're doing it, to be fair. Aerobic, anaerobic, fight leg training, with the ball, without the ball, agility sessions, pitch sessions, gym, mobility routines. We've been on it. We've been on it. He's going to go back no to time. Listen, I want back-to-back -back promotions. You know what I mean? I want back-to-back -back promotions. So yeah. No time to slack off. Put yourself off. back into League One. Call yourself a footballer again. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Four. 4k. 4k. 4k and we've got two more sets of that. I don't think I'm making it. It's silly to undo the hard work now, wouldn't it? Do you know what? He's fit, Ollie. Probably about four days further ahead of me into the off-season program. It makes sense to be fair. It's pushing me at the end. But we've got through it. Guys, like I said, the program is ready. It's launched, we're waiting for you, me, Kev, and the rest of the team. There's limited spaces, I can't take on the whole world to start off with. 
click the link below, check out the packages, see what appeals most to you. If you've got any questions, hit me up on Instagram, hit Kev up, leave a comment down below, we'll get back to you. We look forward to turning you guys into professional footballers. I know this hasn't been your typical Ryan Tavazoli like vlog. If you are just here for entertainment purposes, I've got something very spicy coming up for you guys. Pro V Pros, Pro V YouTubers on the cards this summer, and then we're back to the match day vlogs next season. See you in a bit. Thank you.